Cardiff visit Charlton for a Valentine's weekend clash on Saturday with the Addicts rooted to the bottom of the table and seemingly in a giving mood, having won just one of the last 14 matches. That said, and granted two games is an incredibly small sample size, but things are starting to look up and the new old flame Jose Riga. After a truly horrendous reuniting with the club that saw them lose 6-0 away at Hull City on his first game back, they've since picked up four points in three matches thanks to a bounce-back draw with Blackburn and a comfortable win over fellow struggler Rotherham. Last weekend's slender defeat at home to relegation rivals Bristol City was a setback though. Riga himself does have previous against Cardiff in similar circumstances though. He was in charge of Blackpool last season when the Tangerines eked out a 1-0 home win up for City, a City side then led by Danny Gabadon and Scott Young on a temporary basis. And a win on Saturday could see the Addicts leapfrog both Bolton and Rotherham, such as the concertina effect at the foot of the championship table. What's easy to forget is the fast start the Charlton actually enjoyed this season. Then led by Guy Luzon, they remained undefeated through their first six games of the 15-16 campaign, beating Hull and drawing with Derby in the process. And at the end of August, they sat eighth in the championship table, five points off the top, seven points clear of the foot, and just a point shy of ourselves. Since then, they've won just three matches, recorded three complete winless months, and enter Saturday with a 21-point gap between the two clubs. Understandably, for a club who shipped 11 goals in back-to-back -back games against Huddersfield and Hull earlier this month, the Addicts possess the worst defensive record in the division. In total, they've conceded 56 goals at a rate of 1.87 per game, and have conceded three or more on nine separate occasions. Offensively, they fare little better either. 26 goals for the season at a rate of 0.87 per game, beaten by Bristol City and MK Dons only in terms of profit legacy and have failed to score a league high 14 times. Individually, on loan Danish striker Simon Mackinock leads the way with five, including a double in last month's win over Rotherham, whilst youngster Ademola Luckman is one behind on four, a more than decent return on just 11 championship appearances thus far. He's not been the only bright spot though. Icelandic international Johan Berg Gudmundsson continues to impress. His stat line of two goals, nine assists, and having been present for each of Charlton's five wins this season, tallies very well with any wide man in the division. And he and his international captain Aaron Gunnarsson will be hoping that that kind of form continues into this summer's European Championships. Head to head, this weekend's game will have to go some if it's to maintain the entertainment factor of recent meetings between the two clubs at the Valley. Last season's Boxing Day clash ended in a one-off draw, featured Tom Adiemi's first goal in a Cardiff jersey and a late equalising stunner from Goodmanson, and was further punctuated by Callum Harriott's first half red card, whilst the midweek meeting back in November 2012 will go down in Bluebird folklore. Despite being 2-0 up early through goals from Haider Helgerson and Joe Mason, Cardiff fell to a 5-2 deficit and eventually a 5-4 defeat, yet still managed to very nearly salvage an unlikely draw when Aaron Gunnison and Craig Noon both netted in at in time. City's last win at Charlton came way back in March 1985.